Hi there, Tony Vogel, founder and co-owner of Dermodality. We're here today to talk about the pumpkin and some of the changes that were uh, made about a year and a half ago, but really we haven't had a chance to really talk more about the use of it in different modalities and how we can actually uh, get more effect from the product itself as well as protect the skin a little bit more. So today what we're gonna do is uh, first talk about the changes that occurred within the pumpkin to make it much better. Uh, over the years, over the last 24 years, I've heard from everybody saying, please, is there a way to take out the parabens? Well, we thought that was impossible if we were gonna maintain the same formulation base pretty much. Well, we were able to achieve it. So we took out the parabens right away, making this a better product and a more favorable product for your clients. So um, you can tell all your clients right now that this is paraben free and is as pure and as organic as we could organic as we could possibly make. Um, even within the aroma, there was a uh, paraben that was protecting the aroma, and it wasn't a natural aroma. So right now, it's 100% organic aroma. There's no synthetics. I think we topped the the value of aroma that we had prior, even though it was pretty good. Uh, slightly more sweet, a little bit more smooth. Uh, we also changed the texture a little bit more. Often, if it was left on the skin it would dry a little too quickly. So what we've done is uh, we've made it a little bit more fluid. So you're actually gonna get more uses out of it, which is really good. It's not gonna be as cakey as it might've been before. And it's gonna be a lot easier to apply and remove. So you'll enjoy that. Now, one of the things that we really need to talk about is how we actually use a pumpkin. If you're using the pumpkin by itself, you're not using it properly. We increased the bilberry in the pumpkin by three times. That means that this product is going to vasodilate quite a bit more. So with that vasodilation, what it allows us to do is take something like our Mendelic peel and that has a very large molecule. It's an eight carbon molecule compared to glycolic being a uh, two carbon and allow the pumpkin peel and because of the vasodilation, drive it into the skin, drive it in deeply. Now it becomes everything it should be. Mandelic acid is both an AHA, in a sense, and a BHA at the same time. It's the only peel or anything that you're using that actually is able to do those two things equally as well. So as far as in around the glands, the follicles, and those areas of the skin where we need something that's going to break down these encapsulations um, that occur, if you didn't use the pumpkin over the top, you would never get that penetration for this value as a peel to work in that way. So now we can decongest the glands, break down any encapsulations of oils and, and skin and those type of, types of things. So that made, made this even better. When it comes to brightening the skin, we have our intensive brightening, or excuse me, our, uh, our C Vitality peel. That would be the next strong, strongest peel we have. So this peel, because of the amount of L-ascorbic acid and the combination of glycolic and lactic acid, we get a lot of brightening. In fact, it was a, it's an award-winning peel for the brightening and the value it has as far as resurfacing. But you're only gonna get that value to a large extent, again, when we put it on the skin, it's left on the skin for two minutes, much like the Mandelic, banned for two minutes, maybe even two and a half minutes, and then we're applying the pumpkin over the top. That way, what it can do is push everything into the skin and become much more fortified. So we have basically, a less irritating chemical creating the result of something much, much stronger. For example, even the Mandelic peel, because of that vasodilation, it actually will act like the penetration you're gonna get from glycolic without that irritation. And again, I mentioned that, but again, you get this anti-inflammatory value that Mandelic has. So we put Mandelic acid in our, in our intensive brightening peel for that reason. That's our third uh, hybrid peel. But we've also added glycolic and lactic acid with that. So there's 15% mandelic, excuse me, 16% mandelic, 15 lactic, and 10% glycolic. And again, we have some, some of the, a little bit of the bilberry in here as well. And then we have almost 10% terosmine inhibitors. So that's going to actually increase the brightening effect of the skin even more than we would with a C vitality peel. So that would be, I guess, our strongest peel. You're talking about 41% uh, chemical. Uh, as far as AHA, and then we have the um, terosmine inhibitors or lightening agents that we've added. So it really brightens the skin incredibly well. 
Again, make sure that we fan the skin for about two minutes before we put the pumpkin peel over the top. You're gonna to find results you've never ever have seen in within the facial structure. So we're still within a facial and we're correcting the skin and we're seeing more and more miracles happen. So enjoy the new pumpkin, enjoy what we've done. And if you have any questions, please give us a call at 800-553-0405. Thank you very much.